150,000 subs. That's insane. Let's do a 100 tips and tricks video. I have the new PC and my shadow play working, which means I can get back to these informational videos without making the entire thing a mess to work with. Shadow play is the freaking key to this. People have asked me what I use to record and edit with, so I made an additional video explaining how and when I use shadow play and when I do the switch to OBS. All right, hang tight. This will go fast as it is 100 tips and tricks. You can go the max distance, the max depth with a slower than 234 kilometers an hour. Just hold the S key at any speed and then dip down and you'll make it just as far. There's a really dope ridge camp spot. Just do it like that. This is the only spot you can do it because the other ones are not as steep. Jump up here. You have to jump and then walk up here. If you have a VSS at this point, then you're set for a fun game. There's a cool little uh, roof jump you can do here. Just to go out here on the balcony. And you can do it with a uh, vaulting too. Just don't vault out over. And then jump here. And to the big roof. That's a pretty neat sniper spot. I like it. I've used it a lot. When you're two people in a car sit on the same side. That way you always get out on the same side. You can change the weapon of which you come out with jumping out of a car by just switching them in your inventory. Like that. You do not take damage anymore jumping from high altitudes into water. Unless the server is laggy, which could be the case, but... Do not get knocked in water. You will drown. If you get knocked, do not get your teammate to save you. Try to get out first, because you will not be able to survive it, no matter what. Just crawl on out before they touch your butt. And there we go. If you're in a hectic situation, shoot out the tires. It will make the vehicle lower, and people won't be able to shoot you beneath it as easily. If you disable the character render, most people get a lot higher FPS while being in there. Mine is almost a double. Do not trust any vehicles. Ever. The airdrop flies the exact same height every time. That means if it's gonna drop, let's say over this mountain over here, it's gonna drop quicker than it would dropping in the open field down here. Or on the mountain, it would drop super quick. Pulling a weapon out from your first weapon slot, the top drags it out over the shoulder, the second one beneath the waist. Now, it makes sense to have the smallest weapon at the first slot then, because otherwise you see it like this. Jumping while you go backwards, will make you go slightly faster and you'll be able to see behind you. Crouching in shallow water such as in the water town can make you go slightly faster. You can unflip cars with grenades. Now sometimes this doesn't work but it can work and you'll be able to take the car and go on your way. If you want to get good with searing this is a very good way to do it. Thumb buttons searing up and down. If you look away from flashbangs, you will not get flashed. You will still get the annoying beep, but that's it. Keep the view distance on very low because it affects terrain. Well, the grass of it. And as you see out here, that doesn't load in. There's grass over there, but over here does. Drop your backpack late game. I always do it. People ask me, why do I do it? Look at my weapon right now. It's flat on the back. With a backpack, it sticks up, and people will be able to spot you. You don't need all the gear late game, so drop it. You can use your healing to bait people. Just drop one. Now, this isn't a spawn location, so people might not fall for it, but it might work. And that would potentially be a free kill. If you break windows in third-person perspective, you can glance out if you pull out a weapon, and then just lean out. You'll be able to see a lot more this way. Marking before you jump is a really good idea because sometimes you still get thrown out at kind of a weird angle So you can adjust. I never really look at the map. I just look up at the radar and find my mark 
The max parachute speed is 234 kilometers an hour. You can drive through the entire bunker system. Now look at that. Mm, beautiful. And pretty much loot on the go. But uh, be careful because there might be plays down here. Like this motherfucker. Hello. What up? And then there's the panic of getting out again. Which... It's faster to swim below water than it is above water. There's no doubt. Jumping uphill will make you go slightly faster. And a bit more silent too. So it's uh, very useful. Pressing C while swimming will make your character dive instantly. Pressing space will spit you back up. The big square on the map indicates a thousand meters and the small one, well, a hundred meters. So 10 of them equals 1000. If you leave the game before you go on the plane, you won't lose any rating. There's two ways to nade. Just toggle between them with a right click. You can loot on the go, just like that. And you can do it with the F key too. Use the Alt key while you sit in bushes, so that your character doesn't flop around. If you hold the Alt key, your character sits still and you can look around. We have another roof jump here. Go up in this uh, little mansion house here. And jump on this door. And up here. You can do this with a uh, vaulting too when it's out. It's not out right now, but it's doable. There we go. You can cook your grenades if you press R. And you have 5 seconds to throw that before it blows up. You can jump out of boats, go in full speed, as long as you're in a straight line. If you turn just the slightest bit, you'll die. So go straight, jump out. There's two ways to do this. Control plus drag it out and control plus right click. You can mark the amount with your mouse or control A. See like this. We can do it both ways with pick up and drop. To get a full boost meter, the best way to do it is first use your painkillers and then the energy drink. Because the painkiller takes a little bit more time to consume than the energy drink does. So like this, you will have the maximum amount that you can get from two. Peek left and right and third person perspective, E or Q. Turn the brake lights off, simply just stop with a little bit of speed and it'll turn them off and, well, it'll look like a fresh spawn. You can run while healing, boosting, whatever, at 0 0.5 seconds. If you need to heal in an open field, just move around a little bit. You can control the bike in the air with control, space, E and Q. The bike is a fun vehicle, because you can kind of take it a lot of places, such as this apartment house. You can take it all the way to the top. So, uh, explore. To reach maximum speed with a buggy, you do not have to use the boost. It can go max speed without it. At the moment, you cannot shoot through any type of water. Nothing. If you don't have a weapon, you can punch a tire out. Um, yep, that's a thing. The buggy can spawn with its brake lights on. You can mute the game pressing Control T. Now this will be fixed in patch 1.0 where the plane isn't as loud, but for now you can use Control T. Smokes are client sides right now, but in 1.0 they will be server side. So for now, you could be seeing differently than the play on the other side of the smoke. You can click your attachments on your weapons, like that, to get them off, and you can click the weapon too. There we go. You can do the same with equipping. You can cue the bandages. Simply after like the second tick, click the next one, like that and keep doing it until you're in no more need of it and the next one bam that's it suppressors do not compensate i don't know why people think they do but they do not here's the proof 
No stat change. Nothing. You used to be able to be able you used to be able to be able to jump out of vehicles. That was a nice way of saying it. You can't do it anymore. Wanna see some Here's cool? the proof. Fucking idiot. All the loot on these table disappears as soon as you go on the plane. It takes ten seconds to revive a teammate. And as soon as you press F, you can look around. You don't have to hold your F key, you just have to press it once. That's all you need to do. The crossbow scope indicates 50, 100, and 200 meters. That's it. That's how the crossbow scope works. I don't know why people think it's 5, 10, and 20, but I mean, try to avoid driving in a straight line. Because that way you won't get hit driving on bridges or through cities. Don't shoot your targets right away. Wait for the perfect opportunity. Potato. Crouch jumping can be really useful on school, well, every place basically. Jump through windows and whatnot, have some fun with it. It will be gone in patch 1.0 when uh, vaulting is out. And vaulting is great too, so it'll be interesting. I fucking hate it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. In patch 1.0, you can adjust the brightness but for now the red dot is kind of hard to see looking up in the sky and that's where the holo kind of shines. You see the difference? Literally unplayable. You can jump around on rooftops, roof rooftops and pachank high. Sort of like that. Just jump around and have some fun with it. Try to come up with uh, new places to explore. And when vaulting is out, do yourself a favor. Just mess around with it. Try to find every single weird spot that you can and then use it. There's there's gonna be a ton of different ways to use that. God damn, I'm excited. Keep the compensator. Let's say I have a suppressor now. I would still keep the compensator on because there's a high chance that people will shoot at me before I see them right now. And then I'd rather have the compensation of that than a suppressed shot. The S12K can carry a 15 times, 8 times, any times, and a suppressor too. Dropping guns with no room will make you drop the ammo if you don't have any inventory space. If you do have inventory space, it will go in your inventory. You can see where your snips lands by just holding the left key after you shoot. Like that. And this is how it looks if you do not hold it. So you can adjust your next shot with the, this method. The level 3 helmet is still better if it's at 1 HP because it can save a car 98k headshot. That's my opinion and I keep it because of that. I only pick up the level 3 backpack and duos the squats because I don't need the room in solo and it kind of sticks a little bit further out from your back making you more visible in late game crawling around. So that's my that that's the answer to why I do not use it in solo cube. Because people ask a lot. It's a small thing. You need to go around 60 kilometers an hour to break this fence. So back it up, back it up, and then build your speed and break it. I think it's around 60, because it's not 50. There we go. You can punch out tires with your fists. One tire is not enough. You need to shoot out multiple. It can still drive. We're still good to go. So if you're trying to ruin somebody's day, shoot more than one. Switching to first person and third person can help you kind of spot airdrops flying above you while sitting in a bush. 
Can we just all agree on this? God damn, I hate this bike. I hate it. You can get to the outer wall surrounding the island. Now, you can't really do anything about it. The circle will kill you, but it's doable. And it's useless. But there you go. Find the auto run. It's a joy to have. Sometimes. When you're swimming. You can grab a boat and go to the spawn island. Now the loot has been nerfed. Because they needed to add more loot to Kameshki. Kameshki? But you can still do it. As you can see, the loot has been nerfed. This is the best loot I got from one complete session of looting it. The airdrop can land on the outer wall too. If the circle is going outside, then it can still land in the circle outside the map, making it unobtainable. When playing with random teammates, call out your color instead of your name. Because look at these people's names up here. You can't see it because of this shitty ass title I put, but they have weird names. So call out your color because you don't know each other. You can mute voice chats with control T and change voice channels with control Y. Pick up additional loot for your teammates. Like this guy. He wanted this holdo site. Grab everything you can and then meet up at the end, split the loot. And maybe you can get some stuff from them too. You know? It's all about being nice. You can unflip a vehicle with a vehicle. A car with a car. Just drive into it. That's all you need to do. But don't blow up. Going for the first drop. I always just go to the center of the circle and wait for it. Most of the times you'll be able to see it and then just go for it. Just keep following it and eventually hopefully it drops. That's that's the secret. And there we go. A free drop. And that's how you get an M24. Or an something else. I don't know. Players are greedy. Look at this guy. AWM ghillie suit. Now, I'm going to knock him. Spoiler. And we know that a teammate will be getting that because he's like, I had an AWM and a ghillie suit. So by just waiting, using him as bait. There we go. Adjust your angle. If a shot is in front of you, it's hard to hear where it's coming from. But by adjusting, you can kind of tell left to right. You can kind of swim weird. If you swing backwards, look down and then hold the W key. It looks weird, but you can do it. Enjoy. Level 3 backpack has a different skin if it's the one from the airdrop. It's a bit more camo, but it's just the same. You can disable the UI by pressing Ctrl U. If the death icons of your teammate is in the way, you can remove it. The crossbow is a one shot to any level of helmet. A regular punch doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, but if you jump instead of punch, you can do a lot more damage. Alright, so here in the end I have 7 tips that I did not have footage of, but I'm gonna go through them anyway. So first up is focus the driver, which basically means in duos and squats, if you kill the driver, then the rest of the team will panic trying to take over the vehicle, they cannot jump out because that will kill them. Do not stand on the top of the hills on the fog map because it will make you such an easier target to spot. That's it. Because of the white background, your player model just shines through it. By not finishing your knocks, you can somewhat use them as bait or see what direction they're looking towards the teammates or force their teammates to come out and try to fight you. And they are under heavy pressure because they already need to fight real fast, real good in order to save their teammate. The airdrop always drops within the blue, but if it starts flying before the next circle begins to move, it can land outside the white and out to the blue wall. So that's why sometimes you see it kind of close to the blue wall. But if you hear the plane flying while the circle is not moving, then it's going to land within the white area. You can nudge an airdrop with a grenade if you hit it in the air, then it's going to bounce a little bit. You can loot an airdrop from a boat and a vehicle if you're super close to it. You don't get to keep your AWM all your healing when you win the game, so use it. Don't be afraid to use it. That's it. We're done. I hope you enjoyed it. This took a heck of a long time to get the footage for. 
If you made it to the end, be sure to hit us up with any additional tips and tricks I might have missed. And of course, if not already, become a subscriber for more. Have an awesome day.